regulate, do not ban. These are the words of a former commissioner for Governor Babajide Sanolio of Lagos State as regards the ban on motorcycles and tricycles. And if you're in Nigeria and in China, well, the coronavirus may keep longer than planned. This is Plus Politics, and I am Benny Ark. The ban on motorcycles and tricycles by the Lagos government is still the news. This time, a former government official has advised the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Saonlu, to suspend the ban and instead regulate the operations of these transportation systems. Dr. Abdul Hakim Abdul Latif, a commissioner for home affairs in Lagos State under the administration of Akimu Miambode, stated that this has brought untold hardships and that with the level of unemployment and increase in crime rate might be locking around. Now, joining me to discuss this this evening at Lent is political analyst John Wesley. Thank you, John, for joining us this Thank evening you, on Plus Politics. Me. Thank you so much. All right, let's get into it this evening. Um, yesterday, there seemed there was a protest by the Okada riders and other stakeholders in the Okada business. Do you think this move was a wrong move by the Lagos State government, the ban on Okada and Keke? Well, in the first place, I, I think it is fair enough on the side of the Lagos State government for us to mention that when we are talking about ban, I think that's what a whole lot of people have uh, magnified. Ban, ban, ban. We have 20 local governments in Lagos State and yes. by uh, LCDA's 57. And uh, out of 20, five local government areas, yes. these operators were restricted. I live in Ikorodu. Yeah. And uh, when I say restricted, so I want to testify to restriction. On the highway from the Korodu roundabout straight down to uh, anywhere, either CMS or wherever, where you have the BRT lane leads to, the bike operators, the Okada riders and what have you, will always ply those routes. But since the ban, you don't find them there. Okay. But from Korodu roundabout inwards, other places within Korodu, you find them there. We simply so, so it doesn't necessarily seem like an outright ban. That's but what I'm like saying. A so restriction it's, of where their movement can be. You understand? Be. So it's yeah. been a whole lot of sentiment about the ban, the ban, the ban, and the whole. You know, I, I think I think why this is more is as a result of the fact that we have private businesses now who operate series of uh, you know Investing rides, you know, and all of that. Yes. So and it's it's turned fashion. I think that's one of the things with us in this country. A stunt fashion to ride on any of these newly uh, operating, you know, uh, bike or what have you. And the, it's, the go, the go carters and, and, and all of you. Yes. So, so it, it's stunt fashion. So it becomes something like even when you know that days, even on public holidays, when you drive through certain areas where it's always very congested, very congested you know, and then it's freer. You see people who normally should just take a bus. But they wouldn't want to take it, but they just want to go on bike. They just want to go on bike. So it's turned fashion. So basically, the protest in the first place was not necessary, was not needed, was out of place as far as I'm concerned. And secondly, talking about this ban that everyone is shouting about, the truth of the matter is if you as someone who is actually watching me now, right now, or listening to me, and you have your family member right there at Bobby or any of the hospitals or UCH or wherever, you will tell that if such victim was a victim of uh, the bike accident or that was, you know, thrown under a moving trailer and all of that as a result of being on the bike, I'm sure such persons will be calling on the legal state government to ban Okada across the state, not just these five local yeah. governments. Now, now, we have a former commissioner um, for Home Affairs in Lagos State under the administration of Aku Muyambode calling on the present governor, Jide Sanwolu, to, to come off the ban he's placed on Keke and Okada. Do, do you think this call is justifiable or is just still part of whipping up a sentiment? Well, well that, you see, I, I, I would... Given I would, that this, this would, was somebody that used to be in government in Lagos State. Yes, I will talk politically now. Yes. There were some of those people who worked with the, 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 the past governor, Akemi Ambody, who had, you know, th there was this thing that they did with the past governor. You know, there are certain things that we, we try to, you know, uh, you know, you know, say in a mild manner. You know, they will try same with this governor. 
and the reality of being on that seat as governor of Lagos State, we done on everyone. Working with either the Sonwolu or who already worked with the previous law. So the issue, the, the, this law, right from the days of Governor Fashola, this law is, you know, exists or is, is there. Yeah. And so for one reason or the other, if it was relapsed or was not really, really activated, it must have been political. Not because it was not, not enforced. Yeah. Yes. So not because not because it could not be enforced, and not, but it was just because we just looked at the terrain. Politics is coming. We will need these guys to do this. We will need these guys to do that. And a good number of some of these riders too were empowered by politicians with this bike. You know. So and when they begin to talk about some people lose their job and all, do you know that there are certain people who have taken to riding Okada not because they don't want to work or not because they don't have a, a job that pays them and all of that, but they have taken to it because they feel that they will, they will earn more. Imagine somebody taking a bike from um, Ikorodu and taking a bike down to Maryland or to uh, maybe Fadi for the sum of 1,500 Naira. But Wesley, many people will argue this fact with you that if there were op employment opportunities, many people will not want to be Keke and Okada riders. Don't you I think so? I disagree with you absolutely. Let me tell you tomorrow if there are opportunities everywhere. Not everyone is employable. That's the truth. We have those who are graduates of first class and all of that. They are not employable. At least, at least for, for a minimum of six years, I've sat on a board where we need to hire a lot of people. And, where, and this where skill acquisition comes to play. You understand? That, so, not everybody is going to be employed by But the Okada end of the day. is not skill acquisition. It is not anybody. That's why you see a whole lot of these rascals who go on Okada, throw people on that trailer, throw people into Lagoon, throw people anywhere, and all of that. And then, it, because there is no place where you go, there is no school where you go to learn Okada riding. I am not sure where people go to learn. They, I've, not, I've not seen a place yeah. where they say, this is a driving school, yeah? But I've not seen where they say this is an Okada riding school. Okay, do you think the ban came too sudden? As many people would argue no, that no, it was, no, it was no, too no, sudden. No, it was, it was, and given the fact that there were no palliative measures put in place to curtail the, the, the sad and harsh reality Lagosians woke up to on yeah, Monday, yeah. do you think the Lagos no, State no, government it was, should it was, have? It wasn't, it, because yeah. it would, you see, it, it, the, the fact that it was relapsed it, 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 it's something that any Lagosian should expect every day. Because during the time of Governor Babatunde uh, Fashola, it was there. We all knew that this, you know that you don't ride on certain areas until tomorrow, even before the, 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 the assumption of office of uh, uh, the uh, Sonwulu and all of that. The, you know that in certain areas on this very island, that there are places where since that time you will never find bike. There are places where bikes will not dare go to. So you know that. So, a, a Lagosian should not say that it, it's sudden. No, it's not something that it's something that they should know that sometime it will that happen. The, ti the time frame given didn't didn't allow for people to be prepared, and the government itself, the Lagos State government itself, didn't put any palliatives in place to curtail the shock that people are experiencing. There are which no, started on Monday. There are no. There are, we are not in China where we can build hospitals within six days, and then I keep saying this. Since the time this law came to place, one of the things that the Lagos State government should have factored, if they consider that, okay, there will be a time we would agree that Okada will be a part of our transportation system, the next thing that should be considered is how do we accommodate these guys in the transportation you know, sector and all of that. I have been to certain African countries where they ride Okada. They do business with Okada. You will not find them on the highway. They have their own corridor, just like we have the BRT corridor here. Yeah. At least the one that we could mention very close to us is Bene Republic. You go, you go there, the Okada riders, they have their own corridor. So you have no business coming to the highway. It's on both sides of the road. So one of the things that should have been factored is since the time the law came to you know, existence and then it's active, uh, before it got relapsed and what have you, the next thing that should be is that how do we accommodate these guys? Where will they operate? But, you know, for four years, insanity came all over the place. You, would, you could just imagine that you, you are stuck in traffic and you are close to um, a traffic light, and at go, for those who are a little bit sane, who do not actually break the law of going on red, 
the move before you are able to even accelerate because you are careful you don't want to hit a bike you will be seeing nothing less than 150 or 100 yeah, moving in front of okay, you. Okay, great. Now that you mentioned that, even yeah. at, at the green light go, I mean, for those who understand traffic law, you, yeah. you count, you give five seconds exactly. even before you yeah. move. Yeah. But we don't we don't see that happening on our roads. Yeah. Now, okay, there, there was a clip of um, Babajide Saonlu. I think that should be one of the debates or one of the times he had an opportunity to address Lagosians where yeah. he did say categorically, quoting him, mm -hmm. that he was going to walk, his administration was going to walk hand in hand with some of these registered bikers, the, like the go carter to see how they can also help in the transitional system of Lagos State. Now, isn't, isn't this him going, going back on his words? Because well, he did say it, that well, he was going to work with these people. And so is the band part of him working with the people? Well, I, I, like I always say that when it comes to politics, you know, I, uh, one of the things I realized over time is when you're making certain statements during campaign, you do not know what you have ahead of you. See, there are certain places, I told someone, by the time um, uh, President Momo Dubai was campaigning, he was campaigning in the light of whatever he was. Present reality. Yes, he wasn't <laughs> campaigning in the light of what he would meet when he get into a rock. So, for Sonwulu, he was saying those things and getting there, you see, we live in a state where there are agitations, and there are agitations that are greater than certain agitations. Now, when certain things happen politically, you will begin to wonder. You begin to wonder that how do these things get to happen? So the bottom line is that we need to have a situation whereby we can simply have um, the, 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 the group or what have you, the bodies that operate the bike and all of that, we can simply have them you know, in place discuss with the governor. But I think that the ban, as a result of this ban, I think maybe what will happen eventually will be that they want to have a ban, and eventually we will now say, let us call this organized group of guys. Okay. However, calling them may not just be because they want to help the transportation system. It okay. will be because of certain agitation from certain places that we would not even mention. Okay, still more questions coming, yeah. but um, let's go for a quick break on Plus Politics, and when we come back, we'll talk more now. The protests yesterday by some of the Okada riders themselves and stakeholders across the state, we'll show you a clip of that, and we'll come back with more questions on Plus Politics. <laughs> 